What's up, Barnhill family, and welcome back to the channel. Yo, yo. So, great boxing match this week. We're going to see the return of Canelo Alvarez, a champion who's been extremely active for being such a high-level superstar fighter. This is going to be his fourth fight in 12 months. He's taking on very tough and undefeated Caleb Plant, the IBF champion. He's looking to unify. He's looking to make history and be the quickest champion to unify all the belts in a new division. What do you make of this Canelo Alvarez, Caleb Plant showdown? I love the fight, but I also want to say that, you know, although Canelo is not an Italian, he reminds me a lot of Frank Sinatra in the sense that he's doing boxing his way, yep. right? He's like, this is my way. I'm going to do it completely different than everybody else. I'm going to promote myself better than everybody else. And uh, I'm going to be putting these guys away. Whoever you put in front of me, I don't really care. And I really like it. I think that he is one of the key fighters that's saving boxing and keeping it afloat right now. You know, there's a lot of great matchups that happen in boxing, but Canelo Alvarez is the shining star over there. If it's not him, it's Tyson Fury. And they kind of just trade off yeah. month after month as to who's the hottest boxer in the world right now. I really love what Canelo does. He's a ultra, ultra impressive fighter. His offense is ridiculous. His defense is ridiculous. The fact that he keeps moving up in weight classes and he's growing his body to try to get tougher uh, competition is very impressive to me. And uh, this one feels like I, it kind of has that big fight feel, you know. Uh, he's had a few guys in the past that maybe didn't live up to the hype as far as like uh, competitive edge. And right. they, they, we kind of knew the writing was on the wall and they didn't sell the fight all that well. But Caleb Plant seems like a dog. He seems tough as nails, and he's been helping sell the fight. There's been some controversy. There's been some bad blood between the uh, the fight teams. So some I'm punches really thrown yeah, already some, without some gloves slaps, on. <laughs> some slaps and whatnot. So uh, I think this is going to be a very fun fight, and uh, it just so happens to be on a great weekend for fighting. Yeah, I think it's going to be fantastic, and I think and hope that this lines up with UFC 268 to where these guys walk after that card is done. And I believe that it will. You know, this is on Showtime. And you mentioned Canelo doing boxing his way. Yeah. One of the things is he's promoting himself, right? He was with the zone. He was with Golden Boy. He has since exited both of those agreements. And he, he is the draw. Right. So it doesn't matter whether he goes to Showtime, whether he pops into top rank for a fight, goes over to the UK and, and does some business with Eddie Hearn. Canelo brings his fan base with him. Right. And that's allowing for some really cool creative things. A lot of the time, these promotions have shielded and protected certain fighters. And the fighters couldn't get out from the shadow of the promotion because they weren't bigger than the promotion itself. I feel like Canelo has successfully eclipsed that. And he's done it by being just a really damn good fighter, yeah. an exciting fighter, and an active fighter. Kayla Plant's a very tough opponent, and you need the right dance partner to make for a good, as you called it, a big fight feel. Right. And this definitely has that. You see Kayla Plant in the buildup to this that Showtime put out, driving his classic car down the strip in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. He's trained partially by his father. Uh, you know, talk about his great backstory coming through the amateurs. He said, even, you know, if, if I was, uh, when I was coming up through the amateur ranks, I was pretty good, so I had a high ranking. So if I went to a 16 man Golden Gloves tournament, I would be the number one seed, which would give me a buy on Saturday. So I would just fight for the quarters or the semis on Sunday. But my dad would go to the tournament officials and say, no, make him the last seed. Make it, take him from number one to number 16. Make him fight the hardest guys and make him earn the trophy. And he's like, dad... What the hell, man? Yeah. Yeah, I, I had a buy. I would have liked to just chill on Saturday, but that's the kind of thing that he was brought up in. And then on top of that, he said that there's nothing that Canelo is going to bring my way that's going to hurt me as bad as losing my two-year-old daughter to yeah. a rare disease. Canelo is a tough guy, but I certainly agree with Plant there. There is nothing in this world worse than that. So Caleb Plant is not an easy guy to just get out of there. And the odds reflect that. The odds have Canelo being a pretty big favorite, and I think rightfully so. He's a minus 900 favorite. However, they start to change when you talk about what's the method of victory. The method of victory by KO or TKO for Canelo is only minus 190. Mm -hmm. So it's much closer. The odds makers are seeing this being a decision because Plant's such a tough guy. Yeah, and you know, I, I can see why they would probably draw that conclusion. And when you're a betting person, you got to go with just the thing that makes the most sense. And Caleb Plant is very tough. Canelo is very good at finishing opponents, but he'll never really 
uh, put himself out on the limb and risk, uh, you know, his safety to go out there and just knock somebody out. He wants to win, and he'll do it in dominant fashion, even if he has to, you know, go all 12 rounds with somebody and just kind of make them pay for the entire time. But because there is some animosity and, you know, Caleb Plant seems like the kind of guy that realizes this is his biggest moment. I mean, when you have a fight with Canelo Alvarez in 2021, you are in the biggest, you know, you're in the biggest passenger seat you can possibly be in 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 boxing. Unless you're standing across from Fury. Right, exactly. So, you know, those are the best, those are the big money uh, fights. Those are the Conor McGregor's fight version of, uh, of what boxing has to offer. So I feel like he's going to try to seize the moment. Like you said, he's never faced anything quite as difficult as losing his daughter. And that's really, really just nothing inside the ring. As bad as it can get in there will be near as bad as, as anything that he's experienced before. So I, I feel like there's going to be a, a, a real tension in the ring when we see these guys fight. Yeah. And we're going to actually see them open up and bring a pace that's going to be a little bit wild. I'm predicting a wilder fight than a uh, a more tame, calm, technical match. I yeah. think we're going to see Caleb Plant tr- throw everything he's got at Canelo early on. Canelo's going to have to deal with some adversity, but I think uh, er- you know Canelo's a champion and he has a gas tank that is ridiculous, even for a Mexican-born fighter. Like yeah. Mexican fighters all have gas tanks, but his just seems to be a little bit more everlasting than the rest of them. So I feel like late in the fight, we're going to see Canelo turn it up. But I think we're going to share, uh, see some rounds split back and forth be- between the two of them in the early parts of this fight. Yeah, Canelo said, look, uh, Caleb Plant's got a great jab. Yeah. He said, he, and Canelo, that's the thing that makes him such a good champion. He knows and acknowledges what the strengths of his opponent is and are. Yeah. And so he said, look, uh, Plant's got a great jab. He's got a great check hook. And if you go watch a lot of his video on some of the knockdowns that he's had in his career and knockouts, it comes from a beautiful check hook as his opponent is coming in on him. He's also six foot one. So Canelo said, look, this is going to be a very tough fight in the beginning. Now, how much of that he's taking a page out of his old foe Floyd Mayweather's book and saying, I'm going to make the fans believe this is going to be closer than it actually is so that people hit buy on that. That was a beautiful thing that Floyd used to do, and it would be a fight that his opponent literally had no chance of beating him. Floyd would make you think by the time it was over that his opponent was going to win, right. which made you want to tune in because most people you know, wanted to see Floyd get knocked out, especially in the later parts of his career when he was doing all the antics and stuff like that. So I don't know how much of it's showmanship or how much of it Can- uh, Canelo really truly believes that Caleb Plant could present some problems for him early. But Caleb Plant, 29 years old, he's got the opportunity to seize the moment. He will be one of the biggest names in boxing if he can pull off the upset here. So expect nothing but fireworks early out of him. Expect him to try to confuse Canelo with that jab, try to catch him with that check hook coming in. But I just think ultimately it's going to not be enough to defeat Canelo. I think if you talk about individual elements of skill and what makes up a good boxer canelo is as buttoned up as there is in the game right now i think his offense is devastating when he wants it to be his knockout power has come on tremendously in the later parts of his career and he has those elements of that mexican warrior style of boxing that everybody has become a fan of you know stand in a phone booth and trade but he also did it one better he learned the defensive aspect of the game to where he's not taking ridiculous damage which is what's allowing him to fight four times in a calendar year and so I think Canelo Alvarez is going to be smart in the early rounds I think he's going to give a few of the early rounds up to plant to read and download his information and his data and I'm looking for a mid-fight TKO I think he's going to put him down with a body shot but he's going to finish him with a clean hook to the head okay yeah i think it's going to be late i think we're going to see this thing go at least nine or ten rounds and i think that uh you're you're absolutely right caleb plant you know has that good jab and he's able to keep range relatively well as well as you can in box it's it's such a hard thing to do yeah especially with somebody like canelo who who gets inside pretty well and and is able to attack the body um he utilizes that Mexican style really well, and it is a great style for offense, but it usually lends you to get hit a lot in defense and, and, and lack defense. But when, when he uses that shoulder roll and the head movement that he uses, kind of like Floyd Mayweather, it kind of is the best of both worlds. He's, yeah. he's in your face with that 
close range so he can score not just the long punches, but the closer hooks and the uppercuts and things like that, even the overhands. But then he's right out, out of range with that head movement and stuff like that. So I think uh, he, he's a real nightmare for everybody that's, uh, that has to step in the uh, ring with him. I almost said octagon. <laughs> in the ring with him. And I, I think that you're, you're probably right where they're going to – we're going to see Caleb go at him really hard in the beginning of the fight. But when you start to miss your target a ton and you, you've thrown 200 punches and you've only landed 50 of them or, and a lot of those were to the gloves, you start to really get tired – and you start to question what the heck you're doing. And yeah. then you start to put yourself out there. You start to compromise your balance. You compromise your positioning. And that can get you in a lot of trouble against Canelo because he never is out of place. He's never unbalanced. He's never out of position. So I think that, you know, we're going to see this thing go late into the fight because Caleb's so tough. But I, I do see him getting finished. Um Likely not being put to sleep, but being stopped by the ref uh, from a barrage of punches late. I'm going to go like 10th round or so, 10th or 11th round. I'll say 7th round TKO, Canelo Alvarez. But listen, if you want to put some money on this fight, I wouldn't put on Canelo just winning because it's minus 900 odds. You'd have to put up 900 bucks just to win 100 back. I think Canelo by finish... TKO or KO at minus 190 is much more reasonable and practical. And I think his power these days has just come on to a level where mm-hmm. nobody uh, can really hang anymore. He's, he's putting people down. He's breaking people's orbitals, yeah. like we saw with Billy Joe Saunders, which that was a good fight until the power just reigned supreme. So I think what we're witnessing right now is the best boxer in the world living out the prime of his career. And although Caleb Plant is a spectacular fighter and a great champion and and a cool person, I think that we're going to see Canelo Alvarez do exactly what Canelo Alvarez does. Yeah, well, there's a lot of thunder to be stolen from Canelo. If you beat him right now, you are right there. You're automatically top five pound for pound fighter on the planet. Top three, in my opinion, if you can get past Canelo. And we could see a moment like Tiafima Lopez versus Lomachenko, where a, a kid that literally has nothing to lose. Everybody's expecting him to just go get dusted. He's a very good fighter, but Lomachenko's next level. Plant's a very good fighter, but Canelo's next level. Mm -hmm. Well, he came and stole all of that thunder, and now Diafimo Lopez is one of the most well-respected, skilled boxers on the planet. If Caleb Plant could seize the moment, and I think he's one of those guys that's not going to succumb to pressure, uh, we could see a, a pretty massive fight, and that's why I think it's going to be fireworks. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. For sure. When you beat the guy, you become the guy. Exactly. Every time. That's for sure. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Drop us a comment and let us know your predictions. We talk about all things combat sports on this channel, boxing, MMA. So if that's your thing and you haven't already, we love a subscribe. And guys, we will check you out in the next video. Peace.